The militia's birthright is back in Destiny 2 after a short hiatus, and this one is a devastating grenade launcher to add to your arsenal. Originally released with vanilla Destiny 2, it's back to cause mayhem in both PvP and PvE. And today, I'm going to check out the stats, the perks, and the gorobs to chase in PvE and PvP, plus have a look at how to get the militia's birthright in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of the viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Without further delay, let's dive into the crucial details. And that is how to get the militia's birthright in Destiny 2. Well, to get this one... You're going to need to run Nightfall Strikes when the Militia's Birthright is available as a reward. This grenade launcher is one of the featured Nightfall weapons this season. It's got a chance to drop when you complete a Nightfall. Now, the harder the Nightfall, the more likely the drop. I wouldn't do anything less than Legend Nightfalls. So you could do Legend, Master or Grandmaster. But if you complete a Grandmaster Nightfall when it's available, then you're going to get a chance to get an adept version of the Militia's Birthright. And as of making this guide, it is available this week. So get in there, get in those nightfalls, and get this grenade launcher. Also, if you ever want to know what weapon is available, I do a weekly video on Weekly Reset in Destiny 2. That comes out every Tuesday. So subscribe and hit that notifications bell down below to never miss a Destiny 2 update. Well, this one also comes with a couple of origin traits. So we've got Stunning Recovery and Vanguard Vindication. So Stunning Recovery is where you stun a champion that partially refills your magazine, triggers health regeneration and improves the recovery for a short duration. And you've got Vanguard's Vindication, so final blows of the weapon grant a small amount of health. Next up, let's have a look at the Militia's Birthright in a little bit more detail. So this one is a legendary kinetic grenade launcher with a lightweight frame, meaning it's a one-shot handheld grenade launcher with remote detonation. Looking at the stats, we've got Blast Radius of 100, 72 for Velocity, 23 for Stability, 69 for Handling, 63 for Reload Speed, 90 for Rounds Per Minute, and there's one in the magazine. Well, the Militia's Birthright is back, having previously been sunset in Destiny 2. Both the regular and adept versions are available through Nightfall Strikes, and that's a versatile grenade launcher with roles suitable for both PvE and PvP, even though grenade launchers have fallen out of favour in terms of what is meta this season. Now the sandbox does tend to ebb and flow though, so it is worth picking up and saving it for later. And also, it is a decent kinetic weapon as it is today. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Militia's Birthright God Roll Guide. So for PvE, Quick Launch, Blinding Grenades, Lead from Gold and Frenzy. So a Quick Launch, the weapon's barrel provides faster projectiles and much faster aiming. So it greatly increases handling speed and increases the projectile speed too. You've got blinding grenade, so grenade detonation has a brief blinding effect and greatly decreases blast radius. You've got lead from gold, so picking up heavy ammo also grants ammo to the weapon. And frenzy, so being in combat for an extended time, increases damage, handling and reload for this weapon until you are out of combat. For PvP, quick launch, spike grenades, quick draw and auto loading holster would be good. So we have already covered Quick Launch, but we've got Spike Grenades too, so that increases stability. Quick Draw, so the weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. And Auto Loading Holster, the holstered weapon is automatically reloaded after a short period of time. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the Militia's Birthright, and let me know your favourite roles. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the Militia's Birthright in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more... Destiny 2 content like this. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.